guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is sandy joan and if it looks like i'm wearing the same clothes from model hangouts because i am what are you gonna do about it so i'm so glad you're here today before we go anywhere just like this episode because it's gonna be lit you know it's me so it's gonna be lit subscribe click notification bell so you get notifications whenever i post this as you can see from the title is the get to know me tag yeah, we are vloggers. Now we are authentic. We're doing the tag. So this is my official Q&A. And I'm going to answer some questions from the interwebs. And then I'm going to answer some questions that you sent me on Instagram. I hope there's no sexual ones. Or do I? <laughs> so question one, where did you grow up? Wow. Why do you want to know? You guys are weird. So I was born in Kiambu County. And that's where I grew up. I was raised in Kino, and then we moved to Embakasi at Dekodago. So yeah, like Nairobi, not really outskirts. Two, where do you currently live? I just told, and where do you, you want to come to my house, Amma, what's going on? Stalkers, where do you currently live? In my mama house, that's where I live. Who is your best friend? These people who's gonna be mad about this answer. So best friend, you know who you are. <laughs> I really do that one. How tall are you? I'm 5'9". You're welcome. Legs, all legs. Legs and grace. Five dogs or cats? Definitely dogs. Cats are weird. I feel like cats are like low-key demons and they're just waiting for their humans to die so they can eat them. So if you have a cat. But dogs, dogs. I have a dog. Her name is Oreo. She's adorable. It's almost her birthday. Six. Funniest moment throughout high school kind of me that throughout high school. high school was four years throughout how can it be the funniest moment throughout high school drama I guess it's drama I don't know what the funniest moment throughout high school was but I had a blast I went to the Aga Khan high school and I had a really good time so I guess all of it was funny I don't know man seven what year were you born 1991 90s kids the R&Bs Question eight, are you in or have you gone to college? I am currently in college and I'm almost late for a class because I'm shooting this vlog. As in, you guys don't even deserve me. Do you see me doing the most for you? I am in college. I go to USIU. I am a psych major. What else do you want to know? Oh, my life. What is your favorite drink? Whiskey, if that's what you're talking about. I especially, especially love Jack Daniels. Give me three ones. Branding. This is not a sponsored ad, guys. They're not paying me to talk about this, but hopefully they'll give me free drinks after. And I like non-alcoholic beverages. I like tea. I have around five mugs a day. Because I'm an addict. What is your spirit animal and why? I feel like a giraffe. Giraffes are so cute and they are tall and they mind their business. They drink what I mind their business. I like them. They don't have beef with anyone. I really like giraffes. You're wearing perfume. What if I'm not? What if I'm not though? What scent is it? I am wearing Wideria Wideria Beauty. Buy local, support local, all of that good stuff. It's called Goddess. The one I wear is called Goddess. It's purple and gold. So yeah, get it. You can smell like me. Tea or coffee? I just answered that, guys. Also, coffee doesn't work for me. I don't know if it works for you guys, but coffee doesn't work for me. Drink it and stay up and do your assignments. It doesn't work. It's tea. Tea time. What are your life goals? What is this? Am I meeting my mother-in-law? Where do you see yourself in five years? No. My life goals are, I'll just tell you the one, it's to be happy. And I feel like that just transitions into everything else. All my goals just converge into, I would like to be happy. That's my goal. So if I'm happy and I'm doing things that I love, life goals. What sports do you play or have you played? So I don't play anymore, but I did play softball because Kenyans will ask me in the comments. Softball is like baseball for girls. So I played softball for my campus and I played for the national team for three years. So yeah, I'm great and I do things and I'm a patriot. Have any books you read changed your life? Do you know I have a book club and we asked this question and I didn't have an answer? Because ch life changing, I feel like that's so heavy. There's so many layers to life changing. But when I read a book, I do feel like it makes me a better person. So... I guess it changed my life momentarily. Every book adds something, layers. What is your favorite movie? 
the parent trap. If you guys haven't watched it, watch it. Lindsay Lohan playing herself twice because she's a twin. Talent. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Oh my gosh, I have many faves. But I'm gonna say Bari Wangoi. She's one of my very close friends. I will link her so you can check her out. She's a style blogger. She's Kenyan, but she's based in Scotland right now. She is a one. I also really, really love Nancy Mwai because I find her very relatable. She does not have the internet twang that so many others have. She is just who she is. And she came from so far, and I think that's really inspiring. So yeah, those two are my favorite, I think. Mm. Guys, you're sleeping on YouTube. I don't have any guy faves. That's weird. What is... Do you speak any languages and how well? What do you mean, do you speak any languages? This is a language. Can you, how am I talking right now? People are so... You guys are so weird. Where did you go to school? Do you speak any languages and how well? Any. I speak English, obviously. I speak Swahili. I speak Luo. And I am a minor in Spanish, so... Just a little bit of Spanish. Are you single or taken? Taken for granted. I'm lying, guys. I'm in a relationship. That's all you get. Mm. What is your idea of your dream date? As in, guys. What is this? The Valentine's edition. There's food in a dream date. That's a dream date. That is a dream date. How long was your longest relationship? But, like, my longest relationship is my mother. I'm 27. She gave birth to me. That's my longest. How would you describe your fashion sense? What? You know, I've seen this question in the paper, and people are always like, Sijui Afro chic, Sijui Arbane. And I'm like, wow, what are these? What are these? My fashion sense is just what I feel like wearing that day, guys, honestly. More often than not, I will wear sneakers. You can't see, but I'm wearing sneakers with this dress right now. So I'll wear sneakers with a dress. I just like to be comfortable. And if I'm feeling some type of special, special way, I'll dress up. But yeah, it's just. What is comfortable and accentuates my body the most? Because body, body, body. You guys don't see when you talk. Okay, sorry. What is your go-to hairstyle? Space buns. My logo is the, me in space buns. So this is my go-to hairstyle. I'll do it in braids. I'll do it in open hair. I just like space buns because I'm childish and I need to grow up. How many siblings do you have? I have four. There's five of us. We are a basketball team. Come check us out. I have two brothers and I have two sisters. So I actually already did a sibling tag with my sisters. I will link it in the description box below. And I'm going to do one with my brothers sometime. They are hard to find. So there's that. What is your go-to fast food order? Fries with a side of fries. And a dollop of fries. And a glass of fries. Fries. Waroos are like the greatest invention. Mashed potatoes. I don't know, sauteed, lyonnaise. Just put waru on the side. Like, if you piss me off, put waru on the side of that anger. And I'm, I'm going to forgive you. Fries are just, like, the greatest invention. And they go straight to my hips and I don't care. Yeah. Do you use PC or a Mac Book Pro? You see what I did there? Your most memorable vacation memory. Watamu has a special place in my heart because I went for my birthday last year and had a really good time. I feel like I fell in love with myself again in Watamu. So that's super, super special to me. But Dar es Salaam is a close second. My side nigga is Dar es Salaam. But Watamu, Watamu, Watamu. You guys go. It's a small village. You can basically walk around naked because we used to walk from the house to the beach in our swimsuits. And it was like a 10-minute walk. And we wouldn't meet anyone on the way. So you can just go and let loose and rejuvenate. What are your morning and evening routines? Morning, I wake up. Evening, I sleep. What do you guys want? I'm tired. Do you have any bad habits? Many. Yeah. Like not answering this question. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Why would I do that? I think that's really weird that you guys are asking me that. But one thing that you wouldn't know. You guys already know I'm obsessed with fries. I have really good grades, which, I don't know, catches some people off guard. Maybe it's because I'm silly all the time, but I, I, I have a GPA of 3.9. So, yeah. I'm hella smart. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. So, there's some specific questions that you guys sent in from Instagram, and I'm just scared that they're going to be odd. And I'm here now. 
So I'm just going to try and only answer the PG ones because some of you are wild. So, so si Flair asks, why are you so cute? Oh my gosh. I got it from my mama. Because my mom is cute, so yeah, I didn't have a choice. Cameroonian princess, how do you keep fit? Yo. I eat trash and then I pray that it will not go to the path I don't want it to go to. For real, guys, I, I work out like um, twice a year. I've done the Insanity Challenge version T. I make it a point to do it every year. But that's it. I don't, I don't jog anymore. I used to skip. I don't skip. I just eat trash and pray. Good genes, eh? Nez Naimeri. Wow. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing this correctly, but I hope I am. We met at Songa Lounge. My, mod my question is, are you still modeling? And could you suggest a good agency? Yes, I'm still modeling. I think I might model forever because there's commercial modeling and I can do that until I'm 100. So there's that. But about agencies, I'm freelance myself. I tried the agency thing. It didn't work out for me. It wasn't a good fit. So... Recommending agencies would be difficult, but I could recommend some that are doing well currently. Velo Model Management, owned by Penny Joan. You can check them out on Instagram. I'll link all these things. Is doing well for high fashion right now. If you're plus, there's a plus model agency called Plus Fab. For commercials, Ajuma Limited and Zuri Agency and In Vogue. And Moshes is also doing really well. So check those ones out but i am freelance and i'm happy i wouldn't i would not how can one know when legit same girl modeling auditions are being held yo i think it's just experience there's, there's like just a gut feeling sometimes you're sent a modeling audition and it's like so you 10th floor of which building in town where are you going don't go first of all the pay is gonna be 1000 bob and lunch i'm sorry what and also research like when the poster comes out or if someone forwards and you've never heard of these people like the internet is your friend go online and google you will see if there are legit agencies they'll probably have a website or social media pages showing you other things they've done ask your model friends if they are going if they've heard of this person because sometimes it's just weirdos who are trying to finesse models or you go and there'll be an audition if there's an audition fee for me usually that's like the biggest red flag you're not put on this earth to collect red flags. When you see the first one, just bounce. Don't go for auditions that charge. Do your research, ask people, and make sure that they are legit. So just stay networked. If you've watched my episode, which you should have by now, that I had with some plus queens on this platform, they talked about doing your research and making sure that it's legit. And networking. So if you're networked, you'll have at least five model friends. If none of them have heard of this person, or some of them have had a bad experience with them. Don't go, sis. Don't go. Um, first, I want to say thank you. And that I really appreciate how you give me advice about modeling. Oh. Oh. Wow. I don't remember doing this. But you're welcome. I hope you're prospering. Bayer Wangoe asks, why modeling? So many people ask me this. And I'm just like, do people go around asking other people, why a doctor? I hate having to validate my work. But... Why modeling? Because it's my heart. Like, this is, I've been in love with modeling ever since my mom signed me up for a modeling, a kid's modeling agency when I was 10. And then break because 844 is the devil. And then I came back to it and I just love it. It's a way for me to express myself without speaking. When you see a picture of me, you know exactly how I'm feeling, what the vibe was without me having to talk to you. And I just think it's a really, 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 really good way to first of all, express yourself and your passions. And on top of that, make money because bills guys bills last question is from cecilia archie she asks what's your scariest experience scariest scary is a weird word i wish you used another synonym but for real my one of my biggest fears in life is poverty so my scariest one is when you're like so we have this really nice venue and this and this person is going to be there but we don't have the budget for a model I, that just catches me off guard. So you sat down with this budget and you wrote and you're like, so we're going to pay the makeup artist and the photographer. And, and then you go to model and you're like, platform. And you just wrote that and you start there. And your mother gave birth to you and put you on this app to write platform. So that's, for me, that's the scariest when people don't like value models. So whenever someone says they don't have the budget or they're just paying your transport or they're 
all of that nonsense. Those are my scary experiences. So I hope that after watching this, you have, you feel like you know me better because you guys are my friends. We are friends. In my mind, we are all friends. Me and all my subscribers, all 245 of you. <laughs> so by the time this goes up, probably it'll have gone up. But this was the get to know me tag. And if there's questions that you would have liked to address that I didn't include in this, it's because you didn't send them in because... You didn't DM me and I like people to slide in my DMs. So slide in my DMs, slide all the way in and I will do a part two for you if I get enough questions. Thank you for tuning in guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment. By now I think you guys have just crammed it. Maybe you do it with me. I hope you do it with me at home. That'd be interesting to see. So check out all the links that I've put for other modeling agencies and let me know if there's fruit for you. I hope you enjoyed this session guys sandy gang out yes 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 <laughs>